I'm Melo7. This is Football Manager 2018. We have to be a little bit quiet. It's late at night. Everybody else is asleep. It's just about 1 o'clock in the morning, but I've been working on one of my other saves, and I kind of hit the stopping point before I need to record the next episode. I really wasn't ready to do that yet, so I had this idea bouncing around in my head. And uh, I heard about a challenge last year with FM 2017 where you actually make the general manager responsible for bringing in the, the team, right? You know, we have this bit within the story, this role playing, you know, oh, what's it like to work with the general manager? Do you like it? Do you hate it? But realistically, we can just go into responsibilities and there's a general manager there. He takes up a spot, but we can just take away all his duties, right? So what happens if you don't have control over your personnel? That's the story. That's the interesting hook. So the challenge was you have a general manager. That general manager controls all of your personnel. So I thought I wanted to try that. I also thought as I was learning database editing for the game here from some previous problems I've had that you may or may not have seen, um, I thought it'd be neat to see if you could make you, the head coach, a former player of a team, right? You're the returning hero. You're the, you're the, the player that's come back to coach. And uh, I thought that'd be really cool. So. Our story is that I used to play for PFC Montana in Bulgaria. I'm American, but we don't have a whole lot of lower league soccer here, you know, so I had I had ended up playing here. Like, I went to Montana State, and uh, a number of our players went to Turkey to play professional basketball. So I thought, well, that'd be fine. I'd go to Bulgaria to play professional soccer. And... Uh, so the idea is, I, I I played here. I loved it. I was uh, I was you know a fan favorite, whatever the case may be. And I've gone off to earn my coaching chops, and now I'm back. Okay, I have the appropriate coaching license, and I'm ready to play. And so what we can see here is, we come to my profile. Maybe are we on my profile? Maybe we're on my profile. <laughs> no, come on, computer. There we go. There we go. You can see here. Um, I'm the head coach here somewhere. I, uh, I didn't, I don't have any scouting. It won't let me add that. Um, but, and that is also not updated. Oh, I know why. No, I think I fixed that. I, I thought I'd fix, whoops, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for... Personal details, Mellow 7, favorite clubs, PFK Montana, languages, Bulgarian and Spanish. I probably have to hit continue one time for that to happen. Let's do that really quick and see what happens there. See if that fixes it. Let's go back to our profile, home, profile. There we go. So I speak Bulgarian because I lived in Bulgaria as a player, right? And my favorite team, whoops, we can turn off the editing now. Uh, my favorite team is also, uh, where, can we see that somewhere? Relationships. All players, own players, head coaches, staff, agents. Hmm. Well, somewhere in here, my favorite team is, in fact, PFK Montana. That's my team. So we built it in. We've given myself Bulgarian. And then within the club itself, you can see that we have listed ourselves as a favorite personnel, as a player, and now as a coach. So we've built ourselves into this history of the team as best we can. I can't actually go in and give myself playing experience as part of my history, which is a little frustrating. I wish we could. Um, you know, I built myself as a professional local level player, which is probably a step below realistically what Montana is. But I didn't want to give myself, I don't want to make myself too good. So that's what we went with. Um, so right now, I'm the coach here. This is the, uh, the club we have, PFC Montana, was relegated last season. They dropped down a league. So they're now playing in the second league in Bulgaria, which is uh, the Vitora Liga. So uh, the top league is Parva Liga. So Premier maybe, first, not really sure, and Vitora, I guess, the second. I should probably learn some Bulgarian if I'm going to roleplay this, right? Um, 
So we are expected to finish second in the league right now. That's that's where they expect us. And we have a good team. Um, and you can take a look here. Lots of stars. Lots of stars. So we have a little bit of an injury issue right now. We've got a couple players out. Um, one very good player. One and our backup goalkeeper. Uh, I've built a tactic already. This is the tactic I'm going to attempt. And we've got a standard. No special instructions. We're just standard flexible. Uh, we've got a target man, inside forward, winger, uh, Mazzala, Carrillo, which is essentially just a midfielder with no instructions, <laughs> just your basic one. Why that's not your central midfielder, which also doesn't have, see all of these give, well, support doesn't, but Carrillo also, it's just a supporting midfielder with no, as far as I can tell, it doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot. Um, let's click on the player and see if it will uh, Yordanov. Where is Yordanov? Ball winning. He likes to be a ball winning midfielder, but we don't need one because we're going to run with a defensive midfielder. Um, so let's look up here. But tell us. It's not ideal, to be fair. Uh, if we go here. Carrillo. Uh, supporting role more often than not utilized as part of a midfield three or as two central midfielders in a diamond midfield. So we've we've got a midfield three, so to speak. It is the job of these shuttles to cover lateral areas of the pitch and link defensive midfield with attacking midfield. Um, this is what separates Carrillo's from box to boxes. They're not expected to shuttle between boxes, but merely between lines of the midfield. So they essentially go from here to here, I guess. Um, now, I've got a wing back on attack here and an inside forward. So I don't know how important it is to these laterals, but let's give it a try. Um, we can easy, just as easily run up here and just go straight central midfielder, but he wasn't as good at that. Um, and since it didn't have any specific instructions, I assume it's going to play ultimately the same way. No matter what that flavor text says, there's nothing, no additional instructions built into that. So this is our standard, nothing fancy. Um, our counter... Um, not sure why these are there, not on what they're supposed to be. Um, let's fix those real fast and then let's save it really fast. Um, I could have sworn that those were, were done, but, um, you know, whatever, this one's counter save, uh, the counter, obviously we're playing counter. We're staying flexible. We're going to pass into space, stay on feet, use tighter marking and be more expressive. Is that what I wanted? Um, it screwed this up somehow. Um, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's go ahead and this was going to be the attack. So let's go back to it. Let's make this one attack and whoops, cancel and just save. Montana attack. There we go. Save. This one will be Montana counter, and obviously it needs to be counter. Um, and we're going to – let's clear everything there. We're going to sit slightly deeper. Um, I think we're still going to use – I think we'll close down more, but we'll stay on our feet so that we're, we're, we're in position – I don't know why that was a counter when, or at standard when we were at counter there. Um, and I think we can pass into space on this one, right? We're allowed to we're allowed to take a shot up down the field, see if we can break something in. Um, maybe even clear to the flanks. I think that'll be okay. Um, we'll give that a try. We'll give that a try. Now let's let's save as Montana counter, so we don't lose that. Oops. Okay. So counter attack. Why am I exploiting the right flank? Uh, 
Oh no, it should be clear the ball at the flanks, but it's not supposed to be that. Uh, why are these getting confused? I, uh, this is pissing me off. Pass in a space, stay on feet, use tighter marking. Be more expressive. Eh. This one should be attack. It really annoys me that this keeps flipping back and forth. Cancel. Attack. There. I'm going to clear this all out. I'm going to say be more expressive. Um, and look, we've got both standard and attacking up there. This is not working quite the way I expect it to work. Um, think we'll stay on feet. If we fall down, we can't, you know, we can't continue the attack. So be more expressive, do that. And maybe that's it for the attack. I don't know if we can dribble at all. Maybe a run it. I'm just going to do that. Simple. And now let's see if we can save this one and not screw that up. Because clearly I'm having troubles with this. Montana. This is not, it's not selecting the stuff I want to select. So standard nothing. We're on attack. We stay on feet. We'd be more expressive. On counter, pass in a space, stay on feet, use tighter mark, and be more expressive. And we're also supposed to sit back a little deeper. There we go. That everything? I think that's everything. Let's try this one more time. Montana counter, save. There we go. All right, so these are our three tactics. This is what we're going to train. Now, the problem is, well, I've built this and I'm reasonably certain it's not going to suck. It may not be spectacular. Um, if we check our finances, we see that we're actually over payroll and we've got no transfer budget. Now, I don't know when money comes in. We do have a positive balance right now. Um, but if we check our staff and we check our responsibilities, we will see that the president hires and fires the general manager. The general manager hires and fires youth development and the scout. I get to hire my assistant coach and my coaching staff, but the general manager handles all of the other staff. The general manager finds and makes offers for the first team. The youth develop, head of youth development finds and makes offers for players of the future. Signing new negotiations, first team, general manager, youth team, youth development, general manager finalizes all signings. Now, the question is, do we really want this to be the general manager or do we make this the scout? I think we make this the general manager. He makes that decision. Um, now, down here for transfer outgoing, uh, incoming offers for our first team is the general manager, youth team is the development, youth development, and uh, offer players that we've transfer loan listed out is the general manager and head of youth development. Contract renewals, general manager handles first team contracts, head of youth development for the youth teams, uh, president determines the general manager, and all other staff fall under the general manager. Uh, assignments on the scouting team, chief scout sets those, he updates me on the players he's scouted, but the uh, general manager handles the scouting meetings. Down here, I'm going to handle all my training for my squad. The assistant coach is going to handle all the training for the youth squad. And the head of youth development is responsible for bringing people in, uh, bring youth players in for the club. So that's how we're going to do that. On the first team, you can see the assistant coach is going to handle press conferences because they annoy me. The uh, general manager is going to handle the new signing press conferences since he's the guy who's signing them, not me. Um, He's going to give me player search advice, but he's the one searching for them, so that's perfectly acceptable. Um, our coaching report, for whatever reason, is going to be the fitness coach. And handle auto-picking team selections would be the assistant coach, assuming we do that. So that's how we have everything built as far as that. So the fact that we're over money, we don't know if that general manager is going to come at us and fix that sort of stuff or not. Uh, put together a report on changes over club dynamics, end of season. So hopefully we're going to get some more money. This is the end of season now. So discuss plans for next season. Um, I think we're going to say we're going to make the playoffs. 
rather than championship. Okay, perfect. They're happy with that. Um, there we go. That's good. Got some injuries. We've got a squ squad season break. So they come back in June. Right now it's it's May, so we've got a little bit of time, 45 days. So what I'm going to do is, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just continue my way through the thing. The only leagues that we have loaded are Bulgaria. Everything else is off, right? We've just got the one league, so it should go fairly quickly for me. Um, so this will be the first episode. Um, and then second episode, we'll come back. We'll see what the general manager's done. And uh, in theory, we'll start playing some games. We've got, uh, I'll go probably play the two friendlies. Um, maybe we'll look at transfers and play the friendlies, or maybe I'll go all the way through and, and we'll start at Ludigrets and see what's happened at that point. That's probably what we'll do. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that it, I think it's gonna be a real interesting save. It's gonna be fun for me. This is done more for myself than for you guys, to be honest. But uh, but I thought it was an interesting enough concept that it was worth worth recording. Um, I can't guarantee that this is gonna be something that comes up every day. Right now, I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna play through a bunch, and maybe they'll go up as my weekend episodes, and then my normal journeyman will be Monday through Friday. That's that's kind of my thought at the moment. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how it plays out. We'll see how many of these I get recorded. Um, but I'm not going to be recording these kind of one and waiting for you and one and waiting for you. I'm I'm probably going to record a bunch of them as I play through and then and then put them up however they fit within my schedule. So um, let me know what you think about that too. Um, you know, what do you think about scheduling and 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 allowing time for comments for stuff? Because I'm really interested in what other people think about that. Um, it helps me kind of form how I want to do my channel. So anyway, let me know. Hope you like this one. Thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you don't. We already talked about it in the comments. Subscribe if you'd like to see how it turns out. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.